In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple data mod for Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. By creating your own game data bundle files, you can create new items, abilities, classes, and other content, modify existing content, and also modify how some parts of the game work, as I'm about to do. First, you need to create a folder to put your modified files in. Locate the Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire folder. I've installed the game using Steam, so my game is in the Steam Apps folder. Inside the folder, Pillars of Eternity 2 underscore data, create a folder called Override, if it doesn't exist already. This is where all your mods and mods you download from the internet will go. Inside the Override folder, create a folder for your mod. Next, you need to provide some information about your mod. Inside your mod folder, create a file called manifest.json. Open this file in a text editor, and type the following text into it. Title is the name of the mod. You can provide the text in multiple languages, each identified by its standard two-letter language code. In this example, I only provide English, E-N. Description is a short one-sentence description of the mod, and can also be provided in multiple languages. Author is the name or handle of the mod's creator. Mod version is the version number of your mod. You should increase this each time you release a new version of your mod. Supported game version specifies the minimum and maximum versions of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire that your mod is known to be compatible with. The game will warn your users if they're using your mod with an incompatible version, but your mod will still load if it's enabled. Change the contents of this file to describe your mod, then save and close the file. You may also create a thumbnail image that will represent your mod in the Mod Manager UI. This image will go in your mods folder. It needs to be named thumb.png, and the dimensions should be 149 by 84. Now you're ready to actually modify the game's data. For this mod, I'm going to change spells and class resources from resetting after each encounter to resetting on rest. Let's take a look at the vanilla game data, the data the unmodified game uses. This data is located at Pillars of Eternity 2 underscore data slash exported slash design slash game data. I happen to know that the data I want is in the global game data bundle. Open that file in a text editor. The file is hard to read because it isn't formatted. There are many tools available for formatting JSON data. I'm using Visual Studio Code, so I just need to press Shift-Alt-F to format this document and make it easier to read. Now I'm going to find the properties that I want to edit. I found the data. It's on the object called Global Game Settings, so that's the object I need to override in my mod. I won't be changing all the values on this object, but I'm going to copy the whole thing for now. Create a new .gamedatabundle file in your mod directory. Enter the text shown, and paste the object you copied. Now, I'll remove the data that I don't want to override. Note that I always need to leave the type and ID properties of the object, and the type property of any components on the object that I want to alter. Finally, I'll change all spells and class power pools to reset on rest instead of after each encounter. That's it. My mod is now ready to test.